we can also solve other types of optimization problems. Let's investigate one that's about geometry. Suppose you're building a rectangular fenced enclosure for your chickens. You have 50 meters of chicken wire to work with, and you want to build the pen with the maximum area. Step 1. Let's draw a picture. It's good to visualize what we're working with. Our pen is a rectangle, so let's draw one. Step 2. Let's give a name to the dimensions of our rectangle. The length and width could be different, so let's do x for length and y for width. Step 3. What are our constraints? A constraint is like a limit for our problem. We need this because if we don't have any constraints, obviously the answer is just to make a chicken pen as big as the universe. So our constraint here is that our perimeter can only be 50 meters. Now, the formula for perimeter is just to add up all the sides. So we have x plus x plus y plus y equals 50, or 2x plus 2y equals 50. Now, this is more useful for us if we put it in the form y equals something. So we do some algebra. 2y equals 50 minus 2x, and then we divide everything by 2 to get y equals 25 minus x. Great. Step 4 is, what are we maximizing? Well, we're maximizing the area, which is going to be x times y. So, a equals x, y. Hmm. Well, hmm. I don't really know what to do with this, because we don't know x or y. But wait! We do know that y equals 25 minus x, so let's just put that in. So now we have x times 25 minus x equals area. And lucky for us, this is a quadratic. So step five, let's graph. We plug in x times 25 minus x into Desmos, and we find that we have a maximum at x equals 12.5. All right, so then to figure out what y is, we just use 25 minus x again to find that y is also 12.5 meters. So our pen with the maximum area in this case is a square. Let's try another one. Suppose your chicken pen from the first problem isn't quite working out. Your chickens have divided into two factions and are fighting each other, so you need to separate them. You get 10 more meters of chicken wire for a total of 60 meters, and you want to recreate your pen so that it looks like this. Now, we still want to find the length and the width, so let's label them with X and Y again. But the constraint is different now, because you have two lengths and three widths. So 2x plus 3y will equal 60. To rearrange this, we get 3y equals 60 minus 2x, and then divide everything by 3 to give y equals 20 minus 2 thirds x. And then our area, which is what we want to maximize, is going to be x times y, or x times 20 minus 2 thirds x. We graph that area function and see our maximum occurring at x equals 15. So the length is 15 meters. So the width will be 20 minus 2 thirds times 15, which equals 10. So the width would be 10 meters, and that's it. In conclusion, here are our steps for solving fencing problems using quadratics. Step one, draw a picture. Then we create some variables, usually the length and the width of the shape, but this could change depending on what the shape might be. Then we figure out our constraints and we use them to get one variable in terms of the other. This is what we were doing when we got y in terms of x. We use that constraint to create a quadratic function for the area, and then we graph that quadratic to find the maximum. 
Once we find the maximum, we can use that value to find any other relevant information that we need to answer the question.